Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in our season four. I appreciate you guys joining me for this. Uh, as you can see, we're going into the next season and we've got a new event, uh, News of War. A news spreads around the land that a war has broken out between our neighboring country and their enemies. Let us hope we don't have to get involved. Uh, so we've got three options. This might increase the price prices of some goods. Uh, number two is poor bastards. Uh, number three, hey, as long as I'm not involved, I don't care. They all have a uh, reward, I guess you could say, of a negative one mood. Uh, and that appears to be the only uh, negative outcome from any of the choices. So I guess it really doesn't matter which one we choose. All our inhabitants are going to have a negative one mood. So uh, this might increase some prices of this might increase the prices of some goods. Uh, poor bastards. Hey, as long as I'm not involved, I don't care. Uh, you know what? Let's go with poor bastards and we'll choose that. All villagers lost one mood. Alrighty, there we go. We are now in winter. Uh, let me open my map here. We're in winter of year three. We've got uh, what looks to be three quests, side quests, and then it looks like we're going to have the Elwyn quest because uh, that's where his archery target is. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. I don't know that we're doing Elwyn today. Uh, we'll have to see. We've got Bora Woo's that got a quest. Veronica. Ranica has a quest. Uh, Denica has a quest. That appears to be all. We're still working on the village outside Hornica with the little fishing hut. Uh, I would like to get that going as well. We also need to start talking with uh, Zygmunta. Oh, look, wait, we have a quest here in our own village right there. Just barely noticed that it was hiding underneath my marker. Uh, but anyway, I had crafted some bowls. Let's see. Do I need to put on any of my winter gear or do I already have it on? Let's see. Let's push a bunch of extra buttons. Uh, okay. So I've already got my first stuff on. I must've thought ahead. <laughs> uh, do we have anything in here? Okay. So we got that, uh, Malvasia that we found early in the season. Uh, or in the uh, series, I should say, not the season. Nice and wintry out. Everybody's up and at them and ready to go. Somebody is headed to... Is this... Who is this? That's Will Truda. So I need to start talking... Like I had mentioned, I need to start talking with Zygmunta. So let's go to management. Uh, where's she at? Oh, Zygmunta, right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Everybody is down. Uh, let's see. These two people are up. I guess that's good. Where are they at? I don't even see them. Oh, they're right here in my town. They're both, let's see, farmer and a gatherer. Are they in the, are they in the same household? No. Right? No, there's two people in this house. Uh, here. Norberta and Romund. Okay. A Ramul. Rumald. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, these names are totally awful. Uh, okay, so maybe they're going to have a child. Maybe they're pregnant. That's why their mood is up. Ooh. Okay. That'll be good. I also want to start getting more people in my different villages as well. So that means that we're going to have to start shacking people up. Uh, but I don't necessarily want to disrupt what I have going as far as my professions. Um, so if I, if, so let me go in and show you what, what I'm thinking here. So like Siegfrieda is the innkeeper. I think I need to have... If I'm going to put somebody in with Siegfrieda, I think it needs to be a male that can take her place as innkeeper when she is a mother. Which means that I may have a few villagers 
that don't really have a profession. Um, now I might also end up adding another barn so I could have more farmers. Uh, because this main village, what I'm planning on, let me open the map here. So this main village right here is going to be just pretty much just farming. Then we have the mining village over here. So it's not just mining. Now granted, I have been the one trying to go and do most of the mining, which I need to do that as well this season. Sorry about that. My coffee was backing up on me. Anyway, I need to go do some mining as well uh, because that way we can get some of the tin and copper and keep our bronze production going and things like that. Uh, and working towards getting our um, technology so we can actually put a mine in the cave. I know I keep saying the mine. We don't actually have a mine yet in this season uh, or in this series. But I go into the cave and go mining for copper and tin and, and stone and all that good stuff. But because this is our mining village, it's also our logging village. You can see that we actually have the woodsheds here uh, along with the storages here. Um, and then we have another, uh, this is going to be our excavation shed that's down here. But we don't actually, this is the only somewhat mining building was the excavation shed, but it only gets clay, stone, and limestone, I believe, which I also need to start <laughs> gathering clay and limestone. So we may end up adding another excavation shed to this village. Uh, and then of course, we'll probably have to add a few more buildings because once we do get the mine and install it in the cave, I'm gonna wanna put people in there. So there's a lot of things to still get done, even though we are in the end of year three. Um, I've been very lacking at talking and getting a wife, which I desperately need to start doing. So uh, that all out of the way, I need to actually go and craft a few meals. Uh, I did make some bowls just before the season change, I think. Yep, right there. I got 75 bowls. Uh, so what I am going to do, looks like I got a wood cup. Oh yeah, because we went out and we visited the um, lightest tree. Let's, where do I see that? There we go. I want to put that wood cup in there. Uh, we got some potage, some gravy. What we're going to do is we are going to grab, and we got some more rot. Uh, let's see, what do we got in here? 75. There's only one. I'll grab that one. We've got quite a bit of food, but I don't think we have enough. I think we're going to be, what is that, 44, 50. It looks like we might be about 25 or 30 meals shy for the day. No, we're going to have enough for the day, right? Okay, hang on. Hang on. Management tab. 360 for the day. Okay. Go back into here. That gives 30 food. So 360. Hang on. Let me pull up the calculator real quick. Let me double check this. I may not need to make any meal as of yet. I may have already made enough. So what we got? 360. We're going to divide that by the 30 food. 30 food, 12 meals. We have plenty. We have plenty of food. So all we would have to have is, is like 12 meals and we've got some 50 meals. We have plenty of food. So I am not going to bother making any, but I will put, we got 2000 weight left. Good, 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 good. I'm going to put those bowls in here because I'm the one that makes the meals. Matter of fact, I am going to go and put plates in there as well because when they finish their meals the plates go in here in the resource storage oops whoops 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 come back but i'm going to put the plates in here because i don't have anybody else making the meals the only thing that the innkeepers are making are roasted meat which also helps nope i don't want the berries i want to put the plate 
in there. Uh, and, and the carrots, they'll go down the next season. So after winter, they'll go down again another either 12 or 13 percent it varies so the 12 and 13 percent on the the deterioration in the food storage is it's it varies each season so one season will be a 12 percent the next season will be a 13 percent um i don't know if that's going to be changing or not but that's why your food in the food storage uh the condition of it goes down much slower in the food storage it, it's it goes down quicker if it's in a different storage unit uh or if it's in your inventory or if it's laying on the ground if it's laying on the ground uh it goes to rot the very next season which we are going to pick all of that up and we are going to put all of that rot here we got 4834 rot that is going to be turned into fertilizer and we have almost 9,000 rot total in here so we have our our fertilizer right now is clearly handled and that is from uh one full crop of cabbage um and then whatever little extra stuff so if i have extra carrots or something left over then i throw those on the floor as well Alrighty, so and it looks like we've only got three fields and it looks like they've got them all ready to go, but nothing, I don't think we have anything being planted right now. What I do need to see is, do they need any um, tools? Gorgeous, oh no, not for farming, farm. No, resources, okay. What resources are they needing? Carrots? Do I even have I don't know if I even have carrots being planted again. Um, I think I might have removed carrots altogether. Yes, I removed carrots altogether. So what they're going to be doing, because I was doing carrots, onion, cabbage, and then the grains uh, so like your wheat and your rye and stuff like that and as you can see i've got the grains right here so there's two of them that are planted which i must i think this is wheat and maybe flax because i think this is oat and rye i have to look at them again to make sure i wish when you hovered over this there was a little tool tip that maybe told you wheat flax oat rye beetroot, onion, so on and so forth. But you can see field one is strictly cabbage. Field three is strictly onion. So I'm going to end up making the, uh, what is that? The, the potage? No, meat and gravy, because it gives the most uh, food out of any of the meals that I'm currently making. Um, and it takes roasted meat as well because I'm having the innkeepers make the roasted meat. So they're increasing their skill level. Sorry, had a brain fart there. <laughs> I was trying to trying to think of the word, but the innkeepers are increasing their skill level in uh, the, the crafting, the production uh, by making the roasted meat. And then I can just take that roasted meat and turn it into the meals with the onion and the roasted meat and the plates. Uh, but it looks like maybe next season, I'm going to make up the carrots to at least utilize some of those. So towards you know, probably the beginning of the next season, I'll, I'll use the carrots because they're gonna go down again uh, and they're gonna be like, uh, I don't know, six, 55 or 60 condition or some shit like that. And I'll make those so they'll have stew for spring. And then once we have onions again, then I'm going to, I'll just won't use carrots anymore. Is that it? I just want to eliminate how many different crops I'm really needing at this point. So let's see, I wanted to see, yeah, that's rye and wheat. Okay. So there we go. Now we know. Whoops. Uh, yep. Management. 
Fair field. So that is rye and wheat. Those first two. Perfect. All righty. Now uh, let's go find Zygmunta, which she was the innkeeper, right? Yeah, the innkeeper. And she should be here. She should not be over by Hornica anymore because I've already got somebody in that. What is this guy doing? Wow, that was interesting. You're a long way from from the field there, buddy. That, that was not convincing. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's kind of talk up Zygmunta a little bit. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go with the F5. Talk with her. And take a closer word. Have you heard anything? A romance? Uh, okay. Yep. Where can I find? Could you move a little? No, I don't need her to move any. So my affection has gone down to zero. And we did have her up quite a ways. Um, what was that? Season season one? Okay. Uh, let's see. How are you doing today? Beautiful. I got a little something. No, I'm not going to give her anything right now. We're going to do how are you doing? Beautiful. Uh, I've never felt love like this before. And it scares me, but I'd rather spend my whole life living in fear than to draw even one more breath without you as my wife. Nope. A little too forward, especially with the affection of zero. Now, I know that there's, uh, I think on the Medieval Dynasty wiki, there's, or, or somebody's got a chart out there. Uh, maybe, uh, what was that? Uh, Random Zero has... Uh, a, a guide on the Steam forums. I know he's been doing really well uh, at providing a lot of that information, written information on Steam. So there may be some guides on how you can better and more efficiently go through some of these dialogues and things. I just tend to not do that, mainly because I forget about the guides until I'm right in the middle of doing what I'm doing. <laughs> But anyway, sometimes the world just seems pointless. Baron, I want to I want to bleed just to know that I'm still alive. Okay, well that sounds a little drastic. I could listen to your voice for hours. Do you sing? I once heard the King's Castle is real maze, does the hidden doors. Uh you know what? Let's let's uh, uh let's go with three. Okay, that brought us up with a five. That's good. Good, 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 good. Uh let's Go with actually never mind and farewell and we'll do an f5 and we'll go back in and we'll talk to her again romance how are you doing today beautiful whoops 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 never felt love like this before nope uh some people live their whole life trying to understand love but love is not to be understood but to be felt have you ever been stung by a bee uh when you do remember to pull out the sting first then cut an onion in half and rub it into the wound. It's mostly harmless, but the venom can be dangerous in some cases. Okay, that's um, interesting. Let's let's do two. Okay, so that got us a 10. Hot diggity dog. All right, F5 again. Romance. Uh, this may be the last. It's usually two or three times, I think, three or four times that you can talk to them, and then they're like done talking. Uh, let's see. How are you doing? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. See, she's not going to talk to us anymore. I have to think about what you said previously. Really? Okay. Probably should have talked about the bee sting or something. Alrighty, Zygmunta. We'll see you later. Alrighty. Now, there is a quest in here. Over here. Looks like it might be our hunter. Uh, hopefully he's not starving for food when he's literally right next to the food storage again. Do an F5 before we walk in here and see what he's got. Uh, let's see. Can I help you with something? I might need your help. What is it? I'm about to go hunting, uh, but still lack some equipment. Will you get it for me? Sure, this won't take too long. Time to hunt. All right, let's open the journal. J to open the journal. Uh, let's see. He wants 23 stone arrows. Okay. Do we still have stone arrows in our chest? I don't know if... We've got stone arrows. <laughs> uh, there's iron arrows. And no, we do not have stone arrows. And he needs 23 and you get 10 out of 
crafting one. Okay, so we need, what is it, two stone for 10. So we're gonna need six stone, right? I think that's right. I'm doing all this from memory. Uh, we need uh, 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 30 sticks because we're gonna be making 30 stone arrows. We got a lot of sticks. Whoops, I just passed 30. There's 30. Uh, then we also need feathers. There they are. I'm not sure we have enough feathers. Just barely, maybe. <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to need 30 feathers too, I believe. 30. Get down and go to 30. There we go. Alright, let's go make him his arrows. That way he can... Go hunt us up some some meat. Uh, let's see. Is it in here? I think it's in here I make them. Uh, stone tools. Weapons. Stone weapons. There it is. Stone arrows. All right, so we are going to make that. There we go. And as you can see, up in the top right corner, we have uh, 30 of his, for his arrows. So we're going to go back. And we will put the axe away so we're not too threatening. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I think... Uh, oh, well, let's see. Read this down here first. Sorry. Uh, and you've got everything I need. Uh, I think I do. Have a look. Yes, that should do it. Here's some gold free trouble. Thanks. Good hunting. Goodwill hunting. Do -do -do. Alrighty. We got that done. Sweet. Now we got one in Denica. How are we looking on time? Oh, we're kind of short on time. Doggone it. Alrighty, so I can't talk to Zygmunta anymore, at least until tomorrow. So it it resets every day. So if you're not if if you're kind of new to the game, when you're talking to people, uh, you know, so like I'm trying to talk to Zygmunta and trying to get her affection up so I can ask her to be my wife, you can actually talk to them every day. So after you talk to them and they tell you they're done talking or whatever, um, then you just wait, literally wait till the next day and you can talk to them again. It kind of resets that. Well, anyway, folks, uh, I think we're going to call this an episode. I'm going to kind of do a few things maybe off camera before the next episode. Uh, I'm definitely wanting to uh, maybe go over and start working on getting these houses done over here. Um, I also need to add another excavation shed. Is that it over there? No, that's my town. Uh, we're over here. I think I want to add another excavation shed over there. Uh, let's see if we have any limestone and clay. I don't even know what they're collecting over there. <laughs> but there's, uh, you see, I got some shovels. I got some picks. How are we looking on? I might have to make some more tools. Okay, there's a sickle. Are there any hoes? There are no hoes. I need to make some hoes. Okay. That's what I need to do between episodes is make some tools. So that is what I'm going to do because we definitely don't want these people running out of tools. But anyway, folks, uh, if you're liking these episodes, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Uh, it definitely helps the channel out a lot, and I appreciate it immensely. Uh, you folks take care, and happy hunting.